Good morning again. It is a new day. Today is Friday. No, there's my mile. Today is not Friday. Today is Sunday. It is 5.15 and it's June 20th. Man, we're two thirds already finished with this month. Can't believe it. Can't believe it. Oh, June 20th, that's crazy. Got 10 more days until the end of this month. Wow. Oh. Well, thanks again, thanks for checking in on me. Thanks for coming and visiting. Getting some positive energy in the morning, like we do in the mornings. So, thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you can see it's nice and bright. Brighter than normal. Can't see that, but there's a, there's a nice streak in the clouds. Oh. Yesterday I talked about uh, passion and purpose. And I kind of want to talk a little bit more about passion because like I mentioned yesterday, passion is one of those things that it comes and goes. What your passion today might be, tomorrow may not be. Um, but say for example, excuse me. Say for example, your purpose and passion, um, you have it set in your mind. How do you just keep sticking with it? How do you just keep going? You know? And even, even I'm surprised I've gone as long as I have so far at this. Maybe I shouldn't tell myself like that. Oh wow, I'm surprised you, you actually did it, you know? Maybe that's a little bit of negativity or a little pessimism that my mind doesn't need. But anyway, I have. You know, I've been, I've been going at it since a long time now. And long time is always relative to what I've, do I've done in the past. So it's not really long time for people who, like Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant just lived 20 years. He's grind he grinded 20 years straight every single day, 20 years. And I was like, well, what is, what is your half a year look like? Nothing. It doesn't have to, but it's not the purpose is to compare ourselves with others. It's if you compare yourself, compare yourself with, with yourself. And so, yeah, for me, it's been a long time. I stick with something for so long and stay, case stay consistent and kind of go through this process so the question is how do you stick with it I like this. Hello. hello these kids are always riding their bikes around in the morning i like that mom taking their, their three kids around for bike rides at five what time is it Five nineteen. that is crazy i used to go riding bikes with my mom not this early for sure, no. <laughs> but uh, it bring brings back good memories of riding bikes around with um, All right, so how do you stick with it? That's, that's a question everybody wants to know. It's easy to get started. It's easy to like put some nice new goals down onto a piece of paper and then get, get started the first week. Man, if you're waking up, then the first week sucks. Absolutely. If you're waking up, if that's a thing that you, you haven't done in a long, long time and you only get up if there's an emergency and you set a new goal to get up early in the morning, it's going to suck. But there's an enthusiasm, right? An enthusiasm at the beginning of a new goal, a new project. There's this push like, yeah, there's an excitement about it. But here's the thing. <laughs> it's about a month. That, excite that initial excitement dies off. And so you got to find something that keeps you going um, yeah so what I've been finding that first of all um, you gotta find a group of people you gotta find people that have to share the same goal as you all right so uh, in many many books they talk about finding an accountability partner and that's great but sometimes you just don't you just don't know people who are in the same boat as you and they want to do the same thing as you and sometimes you want to do you and you, you don't want to change so what, what do you do if you can't find somebody but you know you should find somebody then what you do is if you're a morning guy you go out and you find a chicken I literally saw this chicken walking around this morning he, he literally 
walks it around the block and he literally crosses the road. Oh, what did the chicken do after he crossed the road? He woke everybody up. That's funny. Yeah, he, he, he was all the way over here where we start our walks and he walks all around. Anyway, that's my accountability partner, I guess. Mr. Chicken, Mr. Rooster waking everybody else up because he's probably up before I am in the mornings. Awesome, found my, found my partner. So what do you do if you can't find somebody that share the same goals and you kind of find, want to find motivation from others? This is where I find reading books has really helped me because I can kind of play with the masters. You know, they're, they're masters at their craft. You know, I can't meet them face to face, but I can really get into their minds and they can kind of tell me, like, this is how you do it. This is what you do. And if I was playing basketball and, you know, Michael Jordan showed up, man, I would, I would love to get his thoughts on my shooting form and, you know, just advantages in the game. I'd love that. So it's kind of the same thing. If when I started setting morning goals, then I started setting things like I want to wake up at 5 a.m. in the morning. So what do I do? Well, I found the book. On, it's called uh, The 5 a.m. Club. And I've talked about it a couple of times here. Not the greatest of books, but that gives you motivation on what to do and how to how to keep moving. Keep going, come up here. Um, so that's number one. Find somebody that will help you to stay motivated. All right. So accountability partner, if you can, somebody live, alive, that'd be great. And personally, my 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 wife, she she really mirrors what I'm doing and uh, you know I started waking up earlier and earlier and earlier and guess what my wife starts waking up earlier and earlier and uh, to, to a certain point that you know she worked she wakes up with such pep and zeal that I, oh I just broke that uh, she works with such pep that in the morning I, I, I gotta tell her hey cool, cool off a little bit uh, I need some time to just think to myself but I appreciate enthusiasm in the morning but uh yeah she's been getting up at 5 30 in the morning too which is kind of crazy and i i've never had to say like hey you should get up earlier <laughs> she just like she just does it and since i'm doing my exercise down here she's actually been doing her her own exercise regimen uh every single day uh, she does stretches and uh, pilates and all kinds of this stuff and she's loving it number two Tip number two, um, is you try to find some objects around you that will help, help you keep motivated. And so objects could be anything like whiteboards where you write down quotes that keep you going. Um, you, you can find little printouts, cutouts. And so like in front of my desk, I have a, a printout of Atomic Habits, a book summary of Atomic Habits, real beautiful one. And I look at that every single day. It's, it's right right on top of my my screen, my um, my monitor, my computer monitor. So if I look at computer computer monitor, that printout is right above it, right at eye level. I just gotta look up a little bit, so I see it every single day. And I kind of just mentally go over it every single day, you know, with the four phases, how to stick with a good habit, how to eliminate a bad habit, you know. So it's always right there in my face. So that's an object. Um, some people like. Um, I, I've heard of things like people put, put rubber bands or they wear bands on their arms, um, like stay positive, positive thoughts, you know, some kind of inspirational quote um, that helps them if they're feeling negative, they look down at their wristband and that kind of gives them some kind of added motivation. Um, also heard about people snapping wristbands. So if you're thinking negative thoughts, you snap the wristband, wristband and it helps kind of snap you out of it. Um, some people like tattoos, because you look at yourself in the mirror every day. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not a tattoo kind of guy. Um, so that's the second one I was thinking about. So surround yourself with good people. Uh, find objects that'll help daily, that you see that help daily motivate you. And uh, I think the underlying principle behind it is you got to find your why. 
and it sounds as cliche as it sounds you got to find your why because if your why is not big enough then your stick to itiveness will shrink but if your why is strong enough and your why is that much important that much more important to you, to you then you're going to stick with it so i always talk about my why is my health right now my why is to just kind of take care of myself physically and uh get this done um it's, there's there's no really end goal in mind <clears throat> but i'm hoping that um having patience i have to have patience it teaches me discipline teaches me patience um to not look for instant gratification it's not a single pill that i can take it's uh it's waking up every single day doing your 100 push-ups and just staying with it for a long period of time compound interest you know just a little bit of money compounded over time um, can add up to really really big savings so that's what i'm working with that's my why those are my objects that i have and the people i surround myself with is i try to find a lot of good books that can really get me into the mood all right that's a long video today let's throw a push up Oof. That's my 100 push-ups. That's my video. Thanks for sticking with me today. Uh, thanks for joining me on this bright morning. Uh, to recap, Jesse, find your why. And if, and if you're losing motivation, that means your why is not big enough. Uh, find objects around you. Put objects around you that'll keep you daily looking at it. And continue to surround yourself with people that will motivate you to keep going. Uh, whether it be live people or books. Love you, Jesse. You're doing it. Good job. Aloha. <laughs>